Morning everybody, how's it going? Just rip into the city. Wanted to show you guys a bad section of the highway. Because there's nothing. Snow's blowing north, northwest, and there's nothing for miles that way, so she just rips through here. Just waiting, waiting for the sun to fully come up and then you can see a little bit better, but yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't dare want to do this in the dark because of course when it's dark out your headlights hit the snow and you can't see anything. Uh, ditches are starting to get nice and full here, so this kind of driving is going to be more typical if we get snow, but even then, if it doesn't get warm out, uh, once the snow's been laying on the ground for a while, the crystals break down and then it blows easier, so uh, blowing snow on the prairies is just a thing. It doesn't even have to snow for us to get snow. So this section's always really bad right here. It's always cars rolled over and in the ditch. For whatever reason, this part of the highway ices up. Luckily, I drive this highway twice a day every day and uh, I know every, every inch of it. <laughs> every nook and cranny, every slippery spot, every bump. So. Anyhow, friends, snowstorm on the prairies. Good times. Later. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Just puttering in the saw shop today, cleaning the bench. Uh, I got to do a major cleaning in this shop. Uh, I'm going to build some new shelving units, and uh, I need to get parts more organized. Uh, my I bought a large parts uh, lot last fall, I think it was, like a truckload of parts, guys, and... Uh, Again, I'm always looking for stuff just to keep the channel going and, and stuff that I can show you. Well, I bought all these silly parts and uh, they're in boxes stacked right over there on top of each other. And it's time. I need to get this shop um, sorted out a little bit better and, and inventory my parts a little bit better. It'll, it'll save me time. So I think it's time that I spend that time to inventory my parts. We'll probably do a video of that when I set it up. Um... YZ490, a couple of you guys were asking about it. Um, I'm going to take that down off the lift, I think, and uh, bolt some of the parts that I've taken off back on it. We're going to get back into that 490. I've had that for a while now, just finding the time. But I need to move that out of the way because I want to do a shelving unit um, with all my parts. I want to do it by by uh, brand and by model. And so, anyhow, that's not what we're doing today. Uh, I'm going to bring a couple of power saws down here. I want to try something today. Uh, our friend Clint, uh, Clint emails back and forth with me. Uh, again, another good subscriber, just a, a good fella, helpful. And, uh, you know, Clint said, you should, you should, uh, you should get an endoscope. And uh, I thought that was a great idea. Now, I had been looking at endoscopes. And uh, I actually have one. It's the old one with the handle and it's got the little screen. But it's old technology. You can't record it. And it, it's just, it's old and outdated. So what I want to do today, uh, I'm going to be tearing into this uh, Pro Mac 800. Again, you, you guys, all you guys out there that are helping this channel, it, it, it blows my mind. You guys are making this channel better than it would be. And it, it's, it's pretty cool. It's... Uh, it, it's cool that you guys think enough of this channel that you want to help out. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. I want to have a look at the cylinders on these Max. And a lot of you guys know, Max, to look in the cylinder, um, it takes a little while. you got to take the bottom half of the saw off. And there's this heat shield here. And it's, uh, it's a whole song and dance. So what I thought is, Clint sent us this endoscope. I'm going to try and get it paired to my phone and I can shoot video with it. Let's take these spark plugs out, okay, of these saws and let's have a look see of what these cylinders look like because I think that'll be good stuff. Um, I think this will save me a lot of time. I can do cylinder inspections quicker. Now I like to look at the face of the piston, but uh, this, ooh, 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 look at the carbon in there. This will, uh, what is that? It's a strange plug. 
this will let me know what's going on in these. Uh, I think this this old school Super 1010 is just is just rowdy. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna try and get this doohickey going, and this is the first time I've used it. I'm gonna try and get it going, and let's stick this endoscope into the spark plug hole. Let's have a look, see. Wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna get this all paired up. Okay, folks, here we go. Now, bear with me. A uh, little, little bit of a learning curve on figuring out where the camera's pointed versus what I'm seeing in my phone. Just got to move the piston down. One thing I noticed right away is this power saw is pretty clean inside. Notice the top of the piston. Um, I would say this saw has eaten quite a few fines over its life. No big deal. We'll clean that up when we pull the saw down. Notice the funky exhaust port in this. That's called the Q port. Okay, back in we go here. Again, I'm just trying to show you guys what you can and can't do with this thing. Just trying it out. Again, there's the Q port. That was McCullough's. Uh, workaround for having a decomp. Notice this saw has no decomp because it has this funky exhaust port. That port apparently bleeds pressure off when you're starting it. Quite a bit of carbon in the corner of the exhaust port. Typically where it's going to build up is on that side. That's the cold side of the exhaust port. Again, this is a chrome bore. Um, a lot of them look like that. Uh, typically, that's just how they look. Okay, out of the 800 we go. Now, here's the Super 1010. Notice triple transfer ports in this one. There's the exhaust port. A lot of carbon on top of this piston. Interesting that this one has a square exhaust port. Notice the two scuff marks on the top of the piston. That's I used a dowel, a wooden dowel, to push down the piston because the recoil is, is uh, not together on this saw. This cylinder doesn't look too bad. Um, I think this will be a good, clean running saw when we're done. We'll have to tear this thing down and decarbon it, though. I don't like the way the top of that piston's looking. And again, those, those gold-colored scuff marks, we'll have to investigate those. That might actually be where through the chrome, where that could be carbon built up, uh, which sometimes is an indication that the rings are getting stuck. But all in all, not too bad of a cylinder. And again, this would take me approximately an hour to break the saw down to get to look in it like that. Now back into the 800. I'm getting better at it. I can I understand where my camera is pointed. And again, there's that funky Q port. Um, when we take this saw apart, I want to really have a close look at that. Right here, I'm turning the light on and off. It has a fully adjustable light. Uh, three position, might be four. And uh, it, it works quite well. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, right here, this saw has a 45 degree angled mirror that you screw onto the end of it. So I'm, I'm showing you guys it right here. This gives you like a 90 degree view or is, is supposed to, but as you can see, it's a neat idea, but the, the mirror is too far away from the lens. It needs to screw in like another two or three turns and you can see the mirror isn't actually you know, I'm going to have to adjust this adapter. We'll, uh, we'll tin manize it. We got to bend it a little bit. But again, you can see, uh, having a really hard time figuring out where my lens is. But I think if we make some adjust adjustments to this, we could actually go inside transfers. And while we're porting, we could actually shoot video of that. So 
uh, I'm going to modify this and make it work a little bit better. And if I can't get it to work, what I'm actually going to do, I will find a, a small mirror and I will cut a disc out of it and I'll glue that in the front of this disc so that it, it should work better. This, I believe, is the top of the combustion chamber. So yeah, th this attachment, the way it is, is kind of, it's not the most useful, but it gives me an idea on how we can modify it to suit our purposes. Still though, pretty cool that you can just look right inside one of your motors without disassembling it. A lot of stuff looks worse on the camera than it does in real life, but now that I realize this picks up any and all little details it picks up fuel uh because the light is right on the end of the camera the uh the fuel shines back and looks like scoring but it's actually not scoring it's just fuel so and i'll see you can see the fuel on the side of the cylinder right there pretty cool Okay, I'm just unscrewing that that 90 degree uh, angle piece. Again, I'm going to modify that. I think it does have merit, but it needs to be changed up. This is just a protector that goes on the end. I'm screwing it back on. Pretty cool. I'm I'm actually really impressed with this thing. It streams wirelessly to my phone, and I can record right then and there. There's no cords that attach. Again, there's that funky Q exhaust port. I'm kind of fascinated by these Mac motors. They're totally different than anything that I've worked on. They did things different. And uh, it's going to be fun for me to study them and kind of understand why they did what they did. Okay. Now, what I'm actually thinking is a lot of my ported saws have a pipe sticking out. Now, wouldn't it be cool... If I could take this, instead of removing the muffler to look at a, uh, at a piston, what if I could run this in there and have a look at the piston? Well, why don't we have a look-see on this saw? This saw has been together for a couple of years, put a lot of miles on it. Let's look through the top and see what we can see. My 365 ported. And uh, this is cool. Like, I, I, I want to see. First thing we're looking at, spark plug. Well, oh, drop it on the ground. That's super important, guys. Always want to drop your spark plugs. Nice and brown. I don't know how well you guys can see that. She's a little light. I had her turned right up last time I was running her. But uh, that spark plug's good. I'll call that good. It's 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 more it's it's light brown, but it's not you know it's not lean. Okay, I'm gonna set the endoscope up again, and uh, let's have a look. See, I'm curious. I haven't looked at this this piston in years. Okay, this one really excites me because again, look right down the pipe into the muffler. And again, notice the lack of carbon on this saw. Um, the saw has a decent amount of time on it. I, I run it a lot. It's it's my go-to getting work done saw. And uh, that, that Opti 2 oil I use is clean. And that's why I use it, guys. I don't like carbon. Notice how nice this piston looks. Those, those scuff marks you see are not scuff marks. They're actually fuel on the piston. That's one thing I notice about this thing is that it picks up, see the cylinder wall? That's actually fuel. Um, it, this thing picks up everything in great detail. Okay, now let's look at the same piston with an HD camera. Again, got a couple of years on this saw. Notice the lack of carbon. 
and I don't really polish up my exhaust ports a lot so pretty cool that uh, that unit there is gonna work wonders now I kind of know that it, it really it really picks up on the uh, on the fuel that's stuck to the piston and the cylinder walls let's see if we can see inside the cylinder there let's get the uh, There you guys go. That's cool. Okay, well that was pretty cool. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. And uh neat to be able to just without taking anything apart, I can literally just look inside any saw and determine what's wrong with it, if anything. Uh that scope definitely picks up on the uh it the because the the light is so direct, you can what looks like scoring is actually um, fuel on the cylinder walls, I've noticed. So, uh, something to keep in mind if you guys are going to use one of those. Uh, maybe it's just this one, but I mean, wow. You know, it's it, pretty cool to be able to just look right inside a saw and uh, be able to see what's going on. This is going to be a game changer for this channel because now, a lot of times I've, I've struggled. You know, I made that cutaway. So you guys can see how a saw works. Um, I have some ideas in the future. Um, things that we can do. And uh, with that, specifically with that, um, it's going to be it's cool. I really appreciate anybody, you know, all, all you guys that reach out to me and, and want to help the channel. I really appreciate that. Um, I try to, you know, I try to put out good good videos and uh, stuff that you guys find entertaining and educational. I just want to make sure I tighten down the spark plug all the way. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. I might big bore this saw. Um, I kind of don't want to though. This thing's such a sweet running saw. Um, this is the first saw that I ever ported on the channel and uh, it's a gooder. Anyhow, Thanks again, Clint. I appreciate it. Uh, super cool. Super, super cool. Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Later, guys. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Later.